Using the spin tool is actually a really good tool. The way it works is I'm gonna go straight into orthographic mode. So on the numpad, I'm just gonna click five, okay? The way it works is whatever face we've got selected. So for instance, I've got the top face selected. I'm going to put the cursor to the spot where I'm gonna rotate. So this is now my pivot point. So if I come over to the spin button, I press spin, it will go across 90 degrees. I've got, that's the default is 90 degrees. It will spin 90 degrees. Now it goes off whatever view I'm looking at. So obviously if I'm at this view, now the cursor is here and if I click spin again, I'm gonna get some weird results. Cause that was the view that I uh, rotated it from. So if you're making pipes or even this can be like now, I've made a air vent on a building. So I've just put the face there. I'm gonna re-rotate it around there. I'm gonna spin but I'm gonna go backwards. I'm gonna go over to the left, minus 90. And now this is kind of like an air vent on a building. Oh, it's that simple. So for creating pipes, so I'm just gonna create a new object. Let's just move that one out of the way. Shift A, cylinder. Um, I'm going to set the rotation point here. So the cursor with the left click. Let's now select that top face. Go back to side view, let's spin, and we'll change that to 90. And let's extrude it. And now let's put it up here, and we'll do a spin. Let's go back to minus 90. And this is how you can make some pipes. Very simple, very effective spin tool. And hopefully that helps you out, Richard.